Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our flat shift feature in our Haltech ESP software. So when we wanna have full throttle shifts, if we're on a naturally aspirated engine or a supercharged or a turbo engine, we're gonna to wanna to do this at the drag strip to get the fastest acceleration rate possible. If we're shifting and we're lifting to shift, we're giving up time, we're giving up ET. Even if we're on a road course car, we don't want to be lifting to shift. It's gonna drop us out of our power band and we'll be wasting time around the track. A little bit of time between shifts can add up if you're looking at a lapping time or even a drag strip pass. It's gonna be making the difference between winning and losing in some cases. So we wanna implement this feature. Now we can do it on all kinds of different transmissions. We can do it on a synchro transmission, a dog box, H pattern transmission, or sequential. So we're going to have a whole bunch of options for setting up the different transmission types. If we're using a synchro transmission, we're going to be using a clutch switch. If we're using a dog box transmission, we're going to be using a strain gauge, or we could even use clutch pressure. And then when we use a sequential, we're going to be using a gear position or a strain gauge. So we're gonna be looking at the different types and how to set everything up. So it's gonna be very clear how it works and how to implement it on your particular transmission and application they're using. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check it out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our flat shift feature in our Haltech ESP software. We're gonna be finding we're gonna use this to allow us to have full throttle shifting, whether we're gonna be on a naturally aspirated engine or a turbo engine, we can implement this for much, much quicker shifting and much faster acceleration rate, especially on a turbocharged engine so we don't lose boost between shifts. So let's jump in here and implement our flat shift. So let's jump up into our setup here. We're going to be typing down to the bottom flat and we're going to be finding our search results produce flat shift. So let's click this. Now we're going to be finding some things are in error here. Now we're going to be finding under options, we have a conditional trigger and then a flat shift switch. Now, my first example I'm going to be walking you through, probably the most common and the most simplistic to enable the flat shift, is going to be a clutch switch. So most every single car is going to be fitted with a clutch switch. And when we hit the clutch pedal with our foot, it's going to go and trigger the switch. So we're going to be able to utilize an OEM clutch pedal, clutch switch, clutch pedal switch, um, so that we can trigger our flat shift. So in order to use this under flat shift switch, we can see if I click this here, we have the option under imp 